Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Combat Craig and I have some new projections about the 2023 pay increase. Even the Department of Veterans Affairs is now projecting a 10.5% increase. Look at these news sources and then let's just use the VA's own numbers that they published on their YouTube site yesterday. Here's another one from USA Today. This was all published today. So this is uh, these are all new numbers. Um, they're saying Social Security may get 10.5 percent raise in 2023 as prices surge, but don't party yet. Some say, I say party on, raise that as high as possible because inflation is ridiculous, and uh, I'm on a fixed income like a lot of you folks. Here's another one from CNBC: Social Security cost of living adjustment could be 10.5 percent in 2023 according to new estimate. So here we have a, a video published by uh, old sit rep Paul, but he's also saying the 10.5% uh, increase. So maybe old Paul knows something that, uh, that I don't know and we don't know. So we'll go ahead and go with uh, Paul's numbers here. And today the VA is projecting a 10.5% increase. So if you go over to the numbers on the uh, left here, this is the compensation amounts. 0% isn't on here because 0% is non-compensable. And then it goes from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100%. And these are the 2022 rates that we're currently getting paid. And then if you add 10.5% to that, Here's what the new rates are going to be. So at 10.5%, you're going to go up to 168.66, 20%, 333.42, 30 30% is going to be 516.47, 40% is going to be 743.97, 50% is going to be 1059.08. 60%, 1341.50. 50. 70% is going to be 1690.59. 80% is going to be 1965.17. 90% is going to be 2208.36. And then 100% is going to go up to 3681.93. This is for the veteran alone. So in addition to uh, just the base rates going up. This is also going to affect um, dependence pay, um, DIC, everything that is attached to the COLA increase index is going to go up. So look on the VA's website, I'll put a link in the description, and everything that's attached is gonna go up by whatever the uh, projection is. 10.5% seems to be the... Uh, current projection and I'm excited about that. What do you guys think? Also, if you get value out of this, uh, out of these videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this and let me know, do you think it's going to be 10.5% increase or do you think it's going to be higher? And do you think it should be higher? And we're going to get into why I think the uh, government is hiding a bunch of stuff from us and it should be way higher. Leave a comment below. Talking about the history of the automatic cost of living adjustments. Where does this COLA come from? The purpose of the COLA is to ensure that the purchasing power of Social Security and supplemental security income, including VA benefits, is not eroded by inflation, which is currently happening right now. I'm ad-libbing. It is based on the percentage increase in the consumer price index for urban wage earners and clerical workers from the third quarter of the last year, a COLA was determined to the third quarter of the current year. If there is no increase, there can be no COLA. So this is going to be coming out in October and we need the third quarter to end before we actually have these numbers. And then it's going to be implemented in December, 2022 and effective January 2023. You know, the best way to take advantage of, you know, just in general, we're, we're heading into a recession. The housing market is crazy right now. And the best way to increase your VA disability rating and take advantage of the COLA increase is to build medical evidence and, you know, increase some of your disabilities. Get into the hundo club. There's a big jump 
between um, 90 and 100 percent, if you see right here, uh, the difference between 220836 for 90 percent and 368193 for 100 percent. So this is a good way to hedge against this crazy inflation, housing market, all that kind of stuff. So right now it's taken 132.7 days on average uh, for the VA to make a decision. Get medical evidence. If you need help with medical evidence, there's a link in the description. If you need a doctor that can uh, help you provide a, uh, a nexus, a diagnosis, the severity of your symptoms, if you need an independent medical opinion, there's a link in the description. Um, obviously, my boot camp is a uh, good way to educate yourself about the VA claims process. If you want to get serious about your benefits and an increase, I can walk you through the basics. I can tell you what to look out for because I'm familiar with a lot of these tricks that the uh, VA plays, how they hide things from us like secondary VA claims and what kind of medical evidence you need to prove your claim. So check out my boot camp. So here's the uh, numbers and I'm covering myself up over here. So basically, this is CPI inflation, unadjusted 12 months ending in June 2022. So the last month. So they're saying it's 9.1%. Here's what the government is not talking about. All these numbers here are not included in that 9.1%. This is These numbers are the unreported inflation. Food, gas, energy, Electricity, they, they, they say these uh, items uh, fluctuate a lot, so they don't count them in the numbers. I don't know about you guys, but these are, these are the numbers that I'm worried about. Uh, what is it, $5.09 in Idaho for gas? I've, you know, I've never seen that before. I'm feeling it here. I'm feeling food prices. I'm feeling gas prices. I mean, look at these numbers of inflation here. Fuel and oil is 98.5% higher. Uh, gas, 59%. Energy commodities, you know, natural gas, those kinds of things, 60%. So new vehicles, 11%. Utility, pipe gas service, I guess that would be natural gas, 38.4%. So, you know, how are you feeling right now, I guess, would, would be the uh, real question. Are you feeling like it's really at 9.1% right now? Because I'm feeling it's more like 20%. So I, I wish they would include these numbers. So this is just basically fake numbers the government does, and I'm sure... The current administration isn't too interested in getting the real numbers out, but it doesn't really matter who's in office. They don't want to pay, so they're going to you know, keep fudging around with these numbers. You may, be, uh, you may have filed a claim. You're trying to uh, prepare for this, you know, get a higher rating. And you uh, may have to appeal a VA rating decision. Uh, you have three different options here. In the uh, as of uh, February nineteenth, two thousand nineteen, um, they changed it into the AMA, and you could do a supplemental claim, higher level review, or board appeal. If you go the board appeal route, it's going to take years because they're um, processing legacy appeals first, and then they're going to do AMA claims. So I would um, definitely recommend resolving your appeal in the supplemental claim lane or in the higher level review lane. And if you need help with uh, either of those two things, you may uh, decide that, you know what, you've had enough and you want to lawyer up. And if that's the case, check out the sponsor of today's video, Hill and Ponton. Um, you can check them out at hillandponton.com. They might be able to help you out with your claim. Let me know what's going on. I think it's important to talk about this kind of stuff. Figuring out, you know, what the 2023 veterans pay increase is going to be. So, you know, we're, we're on fixed incomes. So we have to figure out how we're going to be able to get through here. Um, obviously, at 100 percent, you know, nobody's rich uh, when you're in the hundo club. But it gives you a lot more breathing room than when you're at like 60 percent. That was my old rating. I went from 60 to 100 percent. So I hope you found this info useful. And um, let me know what you think about um, all these fudged numbers and just kind of what you think 
in general about what's going on in the economy and the housing market and all that kind of stuff, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video.